Oi, 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 gente! Olá! Bom, vamos falar sobre uma coisa muito séria. E essa coisa muito séria é falar. Nós precisamos falar, 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 falar. E, pensando nisso, o Cambly Inglês e o Nicru se juntaram para fazer essa parceria maravilhosa que muitos de vocês já sabem e alguns de vocês ainda não sabem. E você que já sabe e ainda não teve a coragem de se inscrever no Cambly, vai lá agora, cambly.com, ou no aplicativo do Cambly, coloca seu e-mail, se inscreve, não tem que colocar cartão de crédito, nada, nada, nada parecido, e marca uma aula, uma aula, não, uma hora de inglês com algum professor de qualquer região do mundo que você quiser falar. Você pode escolher por sotaque, por sotaque você pode escolher por... Business, você pode escolher por qualquer tipo de filtro que te interesse. Por exemplo, no meu caso, eu adoraria falar com pessoas que são nômades digitais pelo mundo. Então, é isso que eu faço. Eu entro no Cambly.com, no aplicativo do Cambly, e começo a falar com alguém rapidinho. Tem professor lá por 24 horas por dia. E para você ganhar uma aula de graça, é só botar o nosso cupom INGLÊS NO IGRU PODCAST. Desse jeito, você vai conseguir falar sem pagar nada, se apaixonar, e aí você vê um plano anual lá no Cambly para você. Então é isso, galera. Vá lá no cambly.com ou no aplicativo do Cambly e coloca o nosso cupom inglês no Cru Podcast. Now, on with the show! Hello! Hey, Alexia, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? Thank you for asking. <laughs> you are totally welcome. I'm doing great. So today on the show, we are going to talk about movies, more specifically the movie that we saw this weekend, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh-huh. So, Alexia, yesterday, or still today, but on the <laughs> show yesterday, we started talking about movies and naturally... We got a little bit off topic because I started correcting your English and we started talking about movies more generally. But today we want to talk specifically about this movie by Quentin Tarantino. So, so first, some ground rules. Okay. Do you know what ground rules are? Uh-huh. Regras do jogo. Yeah. I was going to say, if you said no, I was going to say <laughs> rules of the game. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, some ground rules. When possible, let's try to keep all spoilers out of this episode. Okay. okay. Yeah, But, I hate spoilers. Yeah, so no spoilers. We will be talking about the movie, some things about the movie and who's in it, things like that. And you can read all of this on the internet. I mean, we are not <laughs> talking about specific scenes and dialogues. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So, in general... Once Upon a Time in Hollywood by Quentin Tarantino. What do you think? I loved it. It's really Tarantino. For you to go and watch a Tarantino movie, you really have to be in the mood of it. You had to like it. Yeah, in the mood for it. For it. Yeah. So let's take a step back. Tarantino, in general, you are a fan, right? I would say a big fan. Yes, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> there is a comma there. I don't know much about him. I mean, every time that they have, that he does or he makes. He makes a movie? He makes a movie, I'll go watch it. That's for sure. So I would say you're a super fan. Yeah. Not many directors that every time they come out with a new movie, you would go see him. Yeah. Probably yeah. good that you don't know that much about him. I don't know that much about him, but what I read, I think him as a person, he's a huge asshole. <laughs> Naturally, if you've seen his movies, one could imagine that he's an asshole. But he's a genius, so. Yeah, so he's kind of one of those directors, you love him or you hate him. Yeah, and he he does whatever he wanted to do, you know, like, he's Tarantino. I used to know a lot, a lot more about Woody Allen, but nowadays he's married to his daughter, so I don't like him anymore. <laughs> Speaking of assholes. <laughs> yes. But if you put in a um, balance, yeah, you like could say numa that. So se você colocar uma balança, that's what I want to say. Yeah, no. Um, if you compare the two. If I compare the two, I would say that I know more about Woody Allen than Tarantino. That's 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two famous directors, but not really comparable no. in terms of their movie style or no, production. No, Tarantino must be an asshole, but he's not a crazy person just like Woody Allen is. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, if you had to give a Rotten Tomatoes score mm -hmm. to this movie, do you know what Rotten Tomatoes is? I do. So, as we learned in the last episode, Alexia wants to be a movie buff. She is an aspiring cinephile, which means... <laughs> You should know about Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes is like the new IMDb. It's my go-to place when I want to know if a movie is good or not. And they have what they call a tomato score, which is just one through a hundred. What percentage of people liked it? They have one for like movie critics, like professionals, and then an audience score as well. So if you had to give your score, what would it be? From zero to ten? No, it's out of it's on a percentage based of one ah. hundred. So, for example, very very few movies have like a hundred percent, like ninety percent, still really good. I think they say above seventy percent. They still say that is a fresh tomato, and then <laughs> rotten tomatoes are under that. Um, eighty-seven percent. Eighty-seven. That's a damn good store score. yes of course okay cool. yeah I what about I would, you i would say more or less 80 yeah it's a good movie not a great movie no it's a great movie it's a great movie it's not an outstanding movie okay now for me <laughs> outstanding movies were jungle livre free jungle how do i say that unchained jungle Django Unchained. Yeah. Another movie by Quentin Tarantino, also starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Jamie Foxx. And Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious Bastards, also starring our friend Brad Pitt. <laughs> so, can I say something about this movie? Uh huh. It has a stacked cast. An awesome cast. Yes. So the best of the best. Uh, not necessarily. So, a stack cast is when you have a lot of stars or big names in one movie. Yeah. So if you see a movie and you just recognize a lot of people, okay, there are a lot of famous actors and celebrities in this movie, you can say, damn, this movie has a stacked cast. So Brad Pitt, Leo, Al Pacino. Al Pacino. <laughs> Al Pacino. The girl from Better Things. The girl from Stranger Things, Robin. Yes. So let's <laughs> slow down. So we have two of the biggest male stars of our time. Brad Pitt, who is 55 and still has six-pack abs. He looks Alexis incredible. shaking her head like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> No, but he, he looks incredible. I wouldn't know that he's 55 and that's okay. He is aging well. Yes. Great. Leonardo DiCaprio. 45 years old. Yeah, he's getting older as well. Al Pacino, quite old. Almost 80. No idea. Yeah. You said the girl from Better Things. So Better Things is a show that originally airs on FX, which is a channel in the US. But I believe we talked about Better Things before. We did. Yeah. I'm sure you can find it on Hulu or somewhere illegally on the internet. But she was on there. And Robin from Stranger Things, who, ironically, is the daughter of Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawke. Kill Bill. Yeah, it's all connected. <laughs> and on top of that, just to add to the stacked castness of the stacked cast, you had Emile Hirsch, who was the younger kid, who you probably recognize him from Into the Wild. Huh? Who was the younger kid? Remember, the text? No. The couple that had the younger kid. So you had Roman Polanski, or Polanski, <laughs> Roman Polanski in this movie, oh, who yeah, was dating yeah, yeah, the girl, yeah. and then they had the younger kid that kind of stayed with him. Yeah. And that was Emil Hirsch from Into the Wild. That's sure. You also had a brief appearance by Damien Lewis from Homeland, from Billions. For many, many things. And, and some the, other the, famous actors and actresses. 
And that guy who appears at a, as a cowboy in the middle in the middle of a scene with Leo, do you remember that he had his he was limp? No, con a manco. Yeah, you could say he's limp, limping. Yeah, he was limping. Do you remember him? I don't recognize him. I forgot him. his name, but that's fine. Yeah, stacked cast, definitely. So, what else about the movie? Would you recommend that people that even are not Tarantino fans, because I'm sure we have a lot of people listening right now, including myself, a lot of times when I think about Tarantino, I have to be in the mood. Like, I loved Inglourious Bastards. I enjoy Django Unchained, but it's a lot of blood. His movies are kind of ridiculous. It seems a lot of like he's doing this super artistic, self-serving, narcissistic stuff. Would you recommend this to, let's say, your friend that doesn't know much about Tarantino or is no. not into it? No, not at all. Because... As I said, for you to go and watch and spend money on that and m going to the movies in Brazil is really expensive, you got to be in the mood for that. So Tarantino is not like Notting Hill or... It's not like what? Notting, not, not, oh, Notting Hill. Notting Hill or like, I don't know. He has a style and you know that the movie will be long You know that the movie will talk about a lot of different, like, stories and place every single character and understand their story behind it. So, in the end, that's what he does. This is not a spoiler at all. He can connect everyone. Yeah. So, you have to be there, like, okay, I'm going to learn about 10 different stories right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot to digest. At one time. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. If you are a Tarantino fan, I don't think you will d be disappointed. No, but it's not the best for me. Yeah, I thought it was quite good. It was enjoyable. If you're not a Tarantino fan, probably a good one to wait and watch when it's available in your house. But worth watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's amazing. I mean, you're gonna. You're going to see Leo, Brad Pitt doing an amazing job. Both of them are great. Yeah. Brad Pitt with his shirt off for a little while. <laughs> you were talking about that. I wasn't. <laughs> so, Alexia, apart from Brad Pitt taking his shirt off very briefly, what would you say was your favorite thing about this movie? I'm going to make a joke right now, but the dog. <laughs> There is a fantastic dog. But yeah. if you watch the movie, you will understand why that's a joke. <laughs> I think my favorite thing was just seeing kind of his depiction of Hollywood in the, I guess this was the 50s, right? No, 50s, no. 60s, 70s. Yeah. 70s, 80s, sorry, yeah. It was Charles Manson era. Okay, yeah. But just kind of that old hippie vibe of Hollywood with, parties and they go to the playboy mansion not that i'm endorsing or saying i'm a fan of the playboy mansion don't know why i mentioned that i'm just saying seeing that time period he did a really good job with the music and <laughs> yes yes but that's my point i think that because he is very good at everything that he does maybe i was expecting more Yeah. about it because for me okay he knows how to how to show hollywood how to show hippie people he knows how to do all of that and for me django unchained and bastard i am all django unchained django unchained inglorious bastards and inglorious bastards were amazing because it wasn't a reality at all for me Right, right. Yeah, I understand that completely. So, Alexia, any last words about Tarantino before we probably do not mention him on the podcast for at least another year? Yeah. If you are a fan, go watch it. You won't regret it. If you are not a fan, watch a lot of his movies before and then make a decision. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Strange advice, but I think that's a good place to end for today. Tomorrow we will be back in your earphones or speakers or whatever you're doing talking about some cool TV shows. Okie dokie. Bye. See you later. Oi, pessoal. Obrigada por escutar mais um episódio do Inglês Negro Rádio. Por agora, nós não estamos aceitando novos alunos para Sound School. Mas, enquanto isso, tem umas coisinhas bem legais que vão te ajudar com seu inglês e que também vão apoiar esse podcast mais amado dos brasileiros. Nós acabamos de lançar um novo recurso chamado Friday Freebies. A cada sexta-feira, vamos mandar para você um novo recurso que criamos para te ajudar a melhorar cada vez mais o seu inglês e também algumas coisas bem engraçadas como behind the scenes da gente. Então, para ficar por dentro disso tudo, é só acessar www.inglesnoicru.com barra free, tá? Você também pode entrar na lista de espera do Sound School e também será o primeiro a saber quando as novas applications serão abertas. Você também pode deixar uma review para a gente, hein? Juro, isso ajuda muito, 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 muito. Tudo isso e mais um pouco no inglesnoicru.com. Então vai lá e, como sempre, keep up the good fight and lose well.